Hey guys, Paul here. Uh, every year about this time, I start thinking about projects for holiday gifts. I uh, think about what are people going to like and what am I going to be able to design that I can crank out about 8 to 10 in a, in a Saturday. Uh, this is what I've come up with this year. This is a, an acoustic amplifier for a cell phone. This, this is a popular project. You're seeing all kinds of uh, articles and videos out there uh, these days. And so this is my take on it. Uh, this is uh, Walnut. I've got uh, dual sound ports coming out each side. Uh, what I like about it also is that it has a, a, a cord port. So you can run a, a cord through this and have it sitting on the charger while it's playing. So this is sort of a, a docking station uh, and, and uh, uh, amplifier as well. So it kind of serves a couple purposes. A uh, very simple project to make. Uh, the amplification that you get is about eight to 10 decibels and it also kind of enriches the sound. I've worked with about four or five different prototypes before landing on this uh, particular design. And this one really, uh, in, in blind tests, uh, a couple people picked it out of the lineup as the one that really delivered the best amplification and the best sound quality enhancement. So but to get started with the project, we have four pieces of wood. I used walnut. I think it works well for this project, but you can use whatever wood you want. I would su suggest a hardwood. Um, you've got uh, the front and back. And I'll put the, uh, the, the dimensions up on the screen now. And if you want to pause and do a print screen, you should be able to take that out to the shop and that'll get you uh, what you need to kind of get the pieces rough cut. Uh, this is a base that we're going to cut in half. And, and these are going to create the sound amplification ramps going out each side. Uh, and that'll all make more sense in a little bit. And then this will be the top piece. So uh, I'm going to just do some uh, sketching on these and then we'll uh, start walking through some cuts. First thing we're going to do is take the base unit and we're going to draw a line from corner to corner and cut this right in half. We're going to just take this over to the bandsaw, cut right through that line, then take it over to the sander and clean up the, any saw marks left behind by the bandsaw. Now if you're careful when you're sanding, you can get it so that these top surfaces line up really well. Um, I was pretty close, but not perfect, and I want it to be perfect. So, uh, because this is going to be the surface that the cell phone sits on, and I want it to sit evenly. So, I'm going to just take a low angle block plane, and I'm just going to shear that surface so that, that the two surfaces are flush with one another. Just a few strokes will do it, and you get a nice surface for the phone to rest on that's nice and even. All right, our next step is to create a slot for the cord relief. Uh, these are lines a half inch apart, centered on the back panel. Uh, that'll give us a slot for cord relief, and we're going to remove the waste uh, over at the table saw. All right, I've got the blade height set for 5 eighths of an inch, and I'm going to just nibble away, removing the material between those two lines. just use a sharp chisel to remove the saw marks that were left from the previous step. Now I've taken the top piece and I've created a slot, a line for a slot that is five eighths of an inch by three and a half inches and it's centered uh, on one side of the top piece. Now this is where you would adjust it for your cell phone size but three and a half inch should work for most cell phones out there even including the case. All right, back at the table saw with the exact same setup, blade height is at 5 eighths of an inch, and I'm going to make two cuts. I'm going to hit the inside of each one of the vertical lines on, and then I'll, I'll clean up the, the rest of it over at the scroll saw. I'll just use the scroll saw to remove the remaining uh, waste following the line as carefully as possible. All right, time for an easy assembly. Um, I've got the pieces kind of staged in the way that they're going to go together. The only thing that you need to keep in mind when you're assembling this is that the slot for the cell phone 
and the, the slot for the cord relief go on the same side. So that's gonna be oriented as the back of the unit. And it will work a lot better if you have it all aligned that way. So I just do the back first and I've got the phone slot down. And then these pieces, really simple. You're just gonna align them to the phone slot. So just get that perfect alignment like so. And then of course, the bottom of the base aligns with the bottom of the back panel. And same thing over here. And then we're just going to load up the uh, other pieces with glue, rinse and repeat. All right, I'm gonna just let that sit for a couple minutes. I like to let the glue start to grab a little bit first before I put the clamps on, and it just makes things uh, a lot easier to, uh, to snug up with clamps when they're not sliding all over the place. All right, I've got one clamp on in the middle, kind of loosely holding everything in place and together, and then I'm gonna get in there with a, a screwdriver and a damp cloth to get the glue out of those nooks and crannies that are gonna be kind of hard to reach. All right, now with the glue mostly cleaned up, I've got two clamps in place and just tightening down the third one. <clears throat> and then uh, these, these screw style clamps work great for this project. Uh, three of them holds everything very securely. Just gonna clean up a little bit more glue that's squeezed out and then let it sit for a half hour or so before we start to uh, make our next moves. All right, everything is set up. Been uh, sitting there for a couple hours actually now. And uh, so I'm just going to get the clamps off of here. And then <clears throat> I'm just going to flush all of, all of the joints smooth using a hand plane. Now you can do this uh, by running it through a planer or over on the jointer, but this is a good way to get the joints just really nice and flush and uh, also improve your, your surface for sanding and, and really will require very little sanding when uh, you're done with this. All right, our goal here is to just barely catch the back corner and we're going to cut it at a 45 degree angle coming toward the front. So I've drawn the lines here. You don't really need to draw these lines because you're going to just line up 45 degree cut off of that rear corner. Um, I have a 12 inch miter saw. If you have that capacity, you'll be able to cut through this uh, no problem. If you don't, take it over to the band saw and, uh, and cut it there. It'd be an easier way to do it. Or hand saw would work fine as well. Now we just want to do some sanding and what I'm going to do is just take a random orbital and gently round over all the sharp uh, corners. I don't want to do, I don't want to make a big radius by rounding over aggressively because it'll change the look. This is a very angular uh, geometry piece and I want to maintain that look. So gentle rolling over just to ease the edges uh, and then a light sanding across the whole surface and we'll be ready for some finish. Also want to make sure that you get in uh, around the perimeter of the phone slot so that that's not sharp feeling and it's uh, nice and smooth for the phone as it slides through. All right, next I'm going to just hit it with a couple coats of finish. I'm using a walnut oil for this. This is uh, Mahoney's Finishes Walnut Oil. I really like this uh, product a lot, um, but you can put whatever you know clear top coat finish or stain for that matter if you want. If you're staining it, be aware that it's kind of tricky to get into some of the nooks and crannies. So <laughs> A uh, clear finish is a particularly a penetrating oil is a more forgiving, uh, easier way to go. Uh, but you finish this however you want, and uh, and <clears throat> make sure that you uh, hit it with a couple coats. Let everything set in, uh, soak in good. And I with this walnut oil, I let it. I'll just load it up heavily and let it sit overnight uh, and see what's see what's left to wipe off in the morning. And usually nothing. It usually soaks it all in. I'll hit it with a couple coats. And that wraps it up, a super simple project. Hope you uh, enjoy this. If you did, please click like and subscribe to the Toolmetrics channel. And I hope you uh, crank out a whole bunch of these for your holiday gift list. Thanks for watching.